Well, Chancellor Rapper is blasting the city council's decision to move forward with a $95 million public safety training hub. But the mayor says it's a ne necessary investment in the west side community. The Jam's Brandon Pope is live at City Hall with a breakdown. Good morning, Brandon. Hey, good morning, Felicia. So you got two competing sides on this issue here. Some say that more training and investment in police is necessary to help the community and fix recent issues like police violence, while the other side, including Chance the Rapper, are saying that uh, that is not the case. That money should go somewhere else. Well, uh, Alderman Emma Mitt, she's actually coming out and saying that they're wrong about this. He don't live over here, and he don't know what I go through day in and day out are trying to make a difference there. So the debate rages on, and here with me now is Carlyle Pittman. He is with the organization Voice here in Chicago. How you doing this morning, man? I'm doing pretty good, pretty good. Now, you actually deferred your time to Chance the Rapper at City Hall to talk, right? Yeah, so uh, they only allowed 30 minutes, which is ridiculous for uh, plenty of people to come in there to, uh, to try to speak, and um, they called my name, and it was a chance I might have not gotten a chance to speak. I thought it would be pretty powerful uh, to have someone on the side to be able to get up there and speak on behalf of uh, not supporting and putting the money into something else. So let's get into this. $95 million for a training facility for police, for firefighters. Uh, you say that money should go somewhere else. Where should it go? Uh, pretty much back into the communities. So. And all these different communities, not just Garfield Park, we're seeing the same issues with poverty. We know the, cause, the causes of violence in the community is poverty, not having jobs, mental health services, hurt people, hurt people. These are things that are causing the issues in the communities. Putting $95 million into another thing that's going to help to criminalize, continue to, to criminalize black and brown folks, this is going to help the communities. We have folks dying. The death toll is at over 600 right now, with police officers being a part of helping that, that number grow. Why not put that money into things that people want to see uh, help thrive the community? It said that that's going to help, you know, with jobs in the community. But a lot of those jobs that's going to come out of that won't be for the folks that are in the communities. So we have literally, literally, no mental health services, no jobs, no programs for youth to be able to go to. I service a lot of youth um, on the west side of Chicago uh, who don't have jobs, who don't have things to do after school. We've lost lives this year, students who were on the streets because they had nowhere to go after school. You know, and it really shows what, what the city cares about, what they're passionate about, what, what, what they put their money, in, their money into. They tell us we don't have money uh, to, you know, keep teachers in schools, keep schools open, to keep these resources and get these resources for our communities. But you're investing $95 million into building a, police, a new police academy. You don't need a new building to, to teach new trainings. You don't need a new facility. You don't need a pool and stuff like that to tell the police officers to stop shooting black people. Yeah, You're really on the front lines of this because you're working with kids directly and uh, seeing this firsthand, what they need and their needs. Thanks for joining us this morning. Really appreciate that there. So the debate rages on. We'll be sure to keep you posted on this issue and how it progresses. For now, I'm live from City Hall. Brandon Pope, The Jam.